So what's up people, making a short video real quick, uh, update on the umbies. I pulled the fry and have most of them upstairs in my, uh, what I like to call my man cave. Um, and then I accidentally left about 20 or 30, maybe a little bit more with the parents. Uh, I'm making an update here because the ones I left with the parents are free swimming. The ones I pulled and brought upstairs are not. They still have the yolk, um, and it's a short video just showing uh, the ones in the in the five gallon container uh, that they are not they're not free swimming. Now the ones in in with the parents are free swimming. So uh, through talking through some of my friends, um, they're suggesting that it could be the difference in temperature outside. It is very hot in my garage. It's burning hot. Um, so that could be a factor. I am going to be moving the fry that's in the five gallon container. I just got a 50 gallon tote uh, from Walmart. They're gonna be moving in there. Um, I'm gonna put a heater in there, try to uh, spike up the, the temperature a little bit, gradually actually, obviously, but uh, see if I can get them to free swim and uh, you know get, catch up to the ones in the garage. Now the ones in the garage I'll be pulling as well, I'll be making a short video of that, pulling the ones that are free swimming. Uh, so just subscribe guys, spread the word, uh, the math fish scientists, I'm crazy, I know. Some of my projects you guys will see coming up, I mean I'm going through hard drives, I got some crazy stuff I already did. Uh, I'm going to show some stuff that probably you will never believe have ever been done or could be done. Uh, but I am going to show proof that it can and even if a fish that I'm trying to cross has not worked for me for a while, I'm not going to stop until it does. So um, I believe I can cross almost anything um, as long as it's a fish. And you know, obviously, I'm not going to cross a snakehead with a, any I wouldn't want to. Something that you know would look freakish, I wouldn't want to. So if to me if they have similar body shapes. Some of the colors, uh, you know, can go with it. I kind of look at that first before I, I don't just throw whatever together. Um, if I think it'll come out cool, or some of them, then, then I'll try. But short video, update of the umbies. Uh, my next video that I'm trying to make, and it'll come up soon, is a project I did uh, with the Black Nasty and, and a uh, Blood Parrot. And that's how I made my red nasties. Uh, so put the notification up for that one. Uh, I document it all in there and show all the proof. Um, I got a lot of projects coming up. Uh, one that is about to uh, lay and breathe is going to be the umbi and the flower hunt. So hopefully uh, soon guys, um, I'll have that also as well. But tune in because I'm going to keep coming with all my projects. I've already done a bunch in the past and I haven't, you know, showed anywhere. So I'm going through all my hard drives. Well, one of my current projects that I'm really excited for, uh, it is my Jaguar male and my Peacock Bass female. Um, I don't think I've seen that done anywhere else uh, and I'm sure it can be done. So subscribe, notification. Enjoy this short clip, just kind of an update for everybody that's been hitting me up, how the fry doing, everything. So I'm doing this video. Comment, uh, you know, anything you'd like me to, you know, try to hybridize. I see if I can get my hands on it or anything you've done. Uh, spread the word, let people know, you know, around the fish farms here, I'm known as the hybrid king. So uh, let them know the hybrid king is going to continue uh, doing crazy projects and. I mean, the stuff you probably see on my channel, you're not going to see anywhere else. So I don't know if you guys can see. Hopefully they come out. I don't want to disturb her and cause her to eat them. Um, but they have the fry swimming. The ones in the, that I left in this tank are swimming with the parents. But the ones in the tote I pulled out are not swimming. Not sure why. Um, the only thing I can think of is hotter here. Metabolism, I was told, could be a, play a factor. Um, but yeah, let me try to get up here and see them. Oh, 
Hopefully I don't make her go crazy. Where's your babies, mama? Oh, there, I see one. Sorry, I know you're not gonna be able to see it. I don't wanna disturb this tank. And, uh, get her to eat them, so. I know they came to the dad's side, too. There they go, there's some right there. He's not eating them, he's guarding too. Actually, they all moved to his side. They are right there on the floor. But they're swimming. Wow, there's more than 15 in here, okay. So there's a lot more than 15. I need to get a better camera. Uh, but those little black things moving there, that's them. And they do free swim. There they go, some of them are coming over. Come on camera, don't act up on me. I'm trying to go back. And you going forward. Okay, you can see them right, right there. They're all hiding right in that little spot right there. But they're swimming. And again, I'm sorry for the bad video. I'm gonna try to improve this camera as my channel grows. But all the fry that I left here is swimming and the one upstairs is not. So, I guess he plays a part. All right, I'll, t I'll keep updating guys. I'm sorry that this one's not that great looking. They're trying to kill each other through the divider. And actually, she wins that fight. She beats him up all the time, so uh, the umby loses. And they're the same exact size. But the fry is right in there. And I'll be pulling those guys pretty soon, just in case those other ones don't start swimming. There's about... Wow, I thought there was only about 15, but I missed a lot. I missed about maybe 40. All right. All right, people. Sorry the video quality is not that great, but I do want to keep filming and documenting everything. So uh, this is the fry that I got upstairs. This fry is still just wiggling. They are not free swimming like the one downstairs. All of these came from the Umbi Jaguar pair. There's so many. But the ones up here are not free swimming and the ones in the, with the parents are. Now the only difference is this room is a little bit colder, not really cold, but my garage is an inferno right now. And these guys still all have the little yolk sack on them. Whereas the ones I, I left accidentally with the parents do not, and they're free swimming. And you really couldn't see in that video, but I am going to pull them out. Um, possibly tomorrow and you'll see them uh, they're free swimming with no sack whatsoever there's a lot more in here um, I ran out of space so I have them in a little five gallon container um, I don't like to switch their water so they're in their water um, tomorrow I'm going to take a lot of the water out from that tank where their parents are and I'm going to put them in a 50 gallon tote alright just a short update guys thanks for watching subscribe
tell people about the mad fish scientists. I mean, you name it, anything that can be hybridized, I'm going to try it. You guys would think I'm nuts with some of my projects, but wait till you see what I'm doing with some of my African cichlids. Alright, people. Peace out.